TickTick is a to-do list application that works in sync across all your devices. That's your computer, the iPhone or Android, a tablet, Apple Watch, or even a web browser. In this video, I'll show you how to add text and graphics directly from a web page on your computer and follow the gap theory. Click the eye above to review that theory. My name's Bruce, and if you really know me, well, welcome back. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, and press the bell to help me make more videos for you. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to set up TickTick with folders and lists, so you can gather things needing to be done as you think of them. Click the eye above to review that tutorial. For this video, I'll be showing you on a Mac, but this works in the same way on any computer in any web browser. You can capture text and URLs from any web page when you're using Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. I'm currently using Chrome here with an image from Pixabay. To add the URL to TickTick, you can click the extension icon and add to TickTick. And you can do the same for adding text by copying the text and clicking the extension and pasting. And if you want to access TickTick's inbox, even when it's not launched, click the TickTick icon at the top. Safari does it differently. You don't need to copy and paste. Highlight some text. Click the TickTick -tick icon at the top, press Enter, and that's added directly to TickTick's -tick inbox, show in TickTick. -tick. And if no text is highlighted, then just the URL is added to TickTick, -tick, show in TickTick. -tick. And finally, Firefox. And this operates much like Chrome. You right-click on the TickTick -tick icon on the top right, you need to copy and paste either the URL or the text into the inbox field. And if you click to the left of the word inbox, this takes you directly to TickTick, so you can select the list to be added to, and you can also create new lists. And all of these actions are highly useful when you're browsing on the web, so you don't get distracted from your current train of thought. The next video will cover how to use TickTick on an Apple Watch. And if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and press the bell to be notified of those further tutorials in this series.